Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited to be back. I feel like this Christmas break has been long and so unneeded when I just started YouTube. It's made me fall off the wagon a little bit, but I'm back and I wanted to do a hair tutorial. I get asked all the time about my messy waves, this. So I just did a little tutorial on how I create them. I hope you enjoy it. Um, my hair is actually not in a good place right now. It needs dyeing so badly. But I've got my appointment booked in for February the 2nd. So I'll take you guys along with me actually so you can see what I ask for at the salon. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm so excited to get it colored. Um, I've also got extensions in at the minute, tapes, which are in need of coming out. I'm gonna take them out in a few days. Um, they are hanging on by a thread. Um, I'm going to take them out, have my natural hair, I mean they're the same length as my hair, they just add a bit of thickness at the end, there's not actually many left in there, I've taken quite a few of them out. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial and I'll be back with the vlog soon, I'll be back with all sorts of things, definitely leave comments below of what you want to see here, because I find it hard thinking what you guys want to see on YouTube, compared to Instagram, compared to TikTok, there's so many things these days. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I also do a bang tutorial of how I get bangs, um, get bangs, how I style bangs really easily that anyone can do. Um, I actually just trimmed these a minute ago in the bathroom. I cut them myself. If you want a how to cut your bangs tutorial, let me know. Although I'm sure all hairdressers will hate me for that. But yeah, enjoy the tutorial. Okay, so I've just washed and dried my hair. I've obviously dried it quite rough. I've not smoothed it out too much, but I did make sure to smooth out my roots. I've got naturally quite wavy hair. Um, if your hair's naturally more smooth, I'm sure you can probably leave it to dry on its own. I cannot. My hair is crazy if I leave it to dry on its own. So I have to smooth it out and make sure my roots have a little bit of volume. I do have naturally quite thick um, hair so the roots are always naturally quite big like when I do this I have quite um, quite a lot of natural volume at the root I know some people don't um, so if you don't maybe you could use a mousse or a hairdryer and a round brush just to get a bit of body at the root that really helps with this look um, other than that my hair is just dry it's got heat protectant in and I also did a leave-in conditioner um, which one was it I think it was by Bumble and Bumble I'll leave some links below and I use the Redkin Redkin thermal spray um, for heat protection and now I'm just gonna go in so this is my standard waves I do this most days like this is my easy hair that always looks nice um, if I do it for the day, I could do it really quick. If I do it at night time for more of a night look, I take a bit more time. So you might want to start with sectioning your hair up, like maybe tie up half of it and leave the bottom and then keep letting parts go. I find sectioning parts of your hair when you're just beginning really helps because then you make sure you get every bit of hair. It's not good if you've got your curls going on and you've missed a bit. Um, but I don't do that because I've been doing this for so long. But what you want to start with is a piece like this. Maybe a bit less actually. About this much. You always want to brush through and then take your curler. Now I'm using the GHD Soft Curl Tongue. I will link it below. I love a tongue. I know it's quite old school to use a tongue. I do also use wavers sometimes if I want a different shape wave. Um, but this is my go-to. I'll also link a cheaper version, different types, but a good tongue that's hot um, is what you want. So make sure you've got that heat protecting on. Okay, so you want to make sure the tongue is on the top and you're going to go curl away. So maybe first practice up and away from the face. <laughs> I'm talking to those of you that have never done this before. I'm sure a lot of you are like, yeah, I know. But just in case you've never done this before, it's quite difficult to first get used to a tongue, um, but you wanna grab and instantly curl away, otherwise you'll um, create a ridge in the hair. So we're gonna curl away and keep moving the tongue as we do. So this bit is gonna release the clamp, so you wanna make sure 
you keep pressing that to let the hair go and then I'm rolling back up okay I definitely described that really badly but I'm going to describe it better on the next one and there is my first curl so get a piece like this brush it through clamp spin it round hold that for a couple of seconds and then you're going to keep it held but you're just going to let this bit go and then turn again and then move it down a bit more let that bit go turn again you can twist it all the way up again if you want so there we go if you want to you can clip them up but i find with a tongue that you don't need to because it's so hot that the curls just stay let it go also everyone's hair is different if you have really healthy darker non damaged hair not like me you might want to hold it for a bit longer but i know that my hair holds um without having to hold the heat on for too long and that's nice because then i don't have to damage my hair too much and then i just continue throughout the head just like this let me show you again once you've got it you've got it like there's no going back you can do it with your eyes closed it's just getting it just get rid of this top bit i do still have tape extensions in my hair right now which i'm so excited to get rid of um just because they've grown down so much now and i think i want to just have my natural hair now this front bit Sorry, I'm looking there, by the way. I'm just looking in the camera screen to do my hair, which is tiny. So I hope I'm doing it right. Just like that. Look how low down this bloody hair extension is. Cannot wait to take that out. Okay. So when you get to this side of the hair, you want to make sure you're again going away from the face. So at this side, we were going this way and now we're going to go this way, away from the face, um, always away from the face. Okay, you can always throw in some throughout the hair that go forward if you want to. Actually, on my wedding day, I had my hair like this um, with this wave and I had some which were going this way just to make it a bit more... Um, so it looks like it was just a natural wave um, but when I do it myself I do just do it in one direction just because it's easier so same again you hold let it go hold let it go twist it back up you got it yet? I hope you have um, also do you like my new earrings? I got these for Christmas off of Josh. I did tell him to get them though, I chose them. Um, but I wanted them for a while. I feel like I wanted just one earring to wear. I've still got another little one, but I do actually have my ears pierced four times on that lobe. Um, but I just kind of wanted to go simple. Just do the one again. So let's continue. I am getting my hair done in a few weeks. I'm going on a holiday next week to the Maldives. I'm so excited. I cannot tell you how excited I am. Like, oh, January is just the worst month for me. So the fact I get to go away is heaven. Um, but I thought I'd wait till I'm back to get my hair done. Cause you know, like sometimes the sun could mess your hair up. So um, I've got it booked in for as soon as I'm back. I'm very excited. I feel like it's so needed. My roots are way too long. I miss being a little bit blonder. I don't want to be as blonde as I was in the summer, but I definitely want to be a little bit blonder. 
Okay, before I brush that out, I'm just gonna give it a bit of hairspray. This is Redkin. Okay, I'm gonna do my fringe in a second, but first I'm gonna brush this out. I'm gonna use a wide tooth comb. You can use your fingers, you can use a brush if you want, but I do find when you do this kind of cool girl wave, something wide tooth or your fingers is best, just because it doesn't break up the curl too much. I then like to take my, I then like to take my tongue again and just have a look and see if there's any bits that I want to add to. Sometimes I'll just do this and let go and just add in a few little bits of texture to the root. I think this needs it on this side. Okay, moving on to the fringe, because this is not okay. I'm gonna take just something easy today. I'm gonna use a hairdryer and a round brush, because I feel like everyone at home has this. Not everyone has the tongs and all the other funky things, air wraps, all of that. Everyone has these. This is easy. So obviously you can just go in with the tongue and again, do away from your face like this and like this. That's gonna give you more of a Farrah Fawcett effect and I do that all the time and it's going to keep these bits going up. Um, that's just a different kind of look. Today I wanted to do the, you know, the proper Pinterest bangs that you see um, and a super easy way to get that. You want to do a triangle from here to here. Also if you're going to cut in your own bangs, I should say that I don't recommend it. I actually cut my own bangs myself. Um, that's how you also want to cut them. You want to create a triangle. So from here to here, I'm going to get these bits. You want to also make sure there's a little bit of the longer bits in there too, because um, then it's going to all look nice. I'm just going to saturate the hair with heat protectant spray. Obviously you can use water if you want, but why not use heat protectant spray? Because you're protecting your hair, two in one. I'm then gonna take the middle section. So you wanna get rid of the longer bits. And this middle section here, these short bits, I'm gonna take the round brush and my hair dryer and I'm gonna curl it forward like as if you've got a full fringe. Just like so. And then you're gonna take these side bits and you're gonna do those away from the face. Again, with the brush. Easy as that, you have now got that in salon, nice and smooth, blowout bangs look, and it's just so easy. Anyone can do that, um, and that's how I create my bangs. And I feel like you can too. But if you do get any of those flicky bits, just blow dry it back into the hair again. You can also add texture spray. This one's amazing by Aribe, and that just adds a little bit. Of texture especially if you've got that type of hair that's really healthy shiny heavy this is gonna help give you that more messy hair this is a really good one um, I also love the living proof one I use that a lot and then to finish it off when I use texture spray obviously it takes out the shine I like to add the shine back in again my shine is fake what can I say um, oil, any old oil that you love. This one's great, it's from Living Proof. Um, I love most brands' oils, honestly. Bit of oil on the ends. Also, very good for your hair. I put oil on my hair all the time. Um, I see oil as moisturizer for your face, but for your hair, um, I put it on twice a day, in the morning and at night, and sometimes I sleep in it, and it really just helps with the health of my hair. Um, another thing, I'll usually use a shine spray as well. I really love the Color Wow shine spray. I've actually run out of it, but I do have their Pop and Lock high gloss finish. This is really nice too, um, but I do like doing one which I don't have to use my hands in usually. Um, but this is amazing. It's got like glitter in it, so it gives you really shiny looking hair. Um, I get a lot of questions about how, how my hair is so shiny and 
yeah, it's all styling and products because my hair is naturally actually quite matte. Yeah, that is the finished look of how I create my waves. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll definitely do my other ways of doing waves, other hairstyles as well, but this is like my classic go-to and when I want my bangs to be banging. This is how I do it. Um, I hope you enjoyed that. I feel like I'm rusty because it's January. I feel like I can't talk. But I hope it was okay and that you understood. Let me know if there's any questions down below. Please give it a like, thumbs up, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff because I am new here, okay? And this YouTube game, it's tough, right? It's tough out there. Um, so any support would help me a lot. Thank you so much. And I'll see you guys soon.